Now we are going to move into our first call and response exercise, which is one of our favorites. We use it for transition time or starting a song, um, but especially for ending songs or exercises. And this beat came from two came from two different sources that used the same beat to essentially teach us how that all end together. And so that's really like why this is so fun is because it's something where everybody gets to end with a clap. And so with ours, we're using a call and a response, so an echo, and uh, it's a beat and a vo voc it's a vocal line and a beat, and then we're gonna all finish together with eight beats and a clap and ending on a clap. So we use the phrase chocolate milk and potato chips for our call, and the rhythm sounds like this. Chocolate milk and potato chips. Chocolate milk and potato chips. Chocolate milk and potato chips. That's the call. There will be an echo after that. So it'll be chocolate milk and potato chips. Echo. Chocolate milk and potato chips. And then to finish, seven beat big beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a clap. So it'll sound like this. Chocolate milk and potato chips. Chocolate milk and potato chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, clap. If we're in the hallway or we're trying to get the class's attention, um, we don't need, obviously, the drum is what I'm using because it sounds great right now, but um, it can be as easy as chocolate milk and potato chips, chocolate milk and potato chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, clap. So we can stomp, we can use our we can use our legs, but the clap and the yell and the call, chocolate milk and potato chips. Really good way to get kids' attention if it's if if we if we need to quiet the room or um, line up and move down the hallway. So good transition thing. It's just a great way to grab attention and, and, and come together. So I think coming together with that clap is really cool. So try that out in the class, in the hallway, um, at home, with your little ones. Uh, uh, the little kids really use their voice more than their bodies for rhythm. They're, they're, they just have more practice with their voice. So the littler they are, the more likely I think they are to really enjoy the, eat, the chanting of chocolate milk and potato chips. As we get older, they get more into the rhythmic pattern of it. And so in either way, it's a great way to call attention. And it's gonna be the way that we, we finish our rhythmic exercises. So listen for that call, echo the call, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, clap. All right, and finally for our Week one practice, we have a song called Ocho Tiempos. Basically that means eight beats. We're gonna count to eight, and we're gonna play with both our hands on the drum, on the desk, on our legs, whatever our drum is today. And we are going to follow a pattern that sort of regulates the brain and the body, but also um, provides some challenge by having us switch hands. Um, you may have, you maybe have already done this, uh, perhaps last year, if you were trying out the, the start of the levels game, um, the levels game is going to be ongoing now, um, every week. And so after this week, next week, we'll go on to level one, which will be fun. That'll be a, a separate feed probably, but, um, uh, the levels game is really great for one-on-one -on -one or small groups. Um, and it kind of, it's a, it's a way for kids to move along at their own, at their own pace. Um, and also get a sense of accomplishment by mastering level one, level two, and you know. All right, anyway, so this is Ocho Tiempos, and the pattern is just two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're switching hands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It doesn't matter what hand we start with. switch which just all that matters is that we switch so the first part of this is playing four beats with each hand with the right two three four and the left six seven eight and the right two three four and the left six seven eight and the right two three four five six We 
we are going to go through each pattern eight beats at a time four times so there I played my right hand and my left hand to make one loop of eight and we did that four times after we do it four times then we're gonna go to two beats on each hand then it'll be right right left left right Okay, so that's going to be the same idea. We'll count to eight four times while we do two beats on each hand. Following that, we're going to go with alternating hands. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is the core of Ocho Tiempos. Uh, stay tuned for the song. There's a song that goes along with it that we all can play to. Um, and that'll come down the road a little bit. Um, maybe a little Friday fun for you. Okay, so let's just play the whole pattern all the way through one time. And we'll end with our chocolate milk and potato chips call and our 7-8 clap. Okay, five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, and switch hands, two. One, two, three, four, switch, six, seven, eight, and right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last time. Two, three, four, five, six, now to the twos. One, two, three, Alternating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last time, two. So that's the sort of the core of our song Ocho Tiempos. We're counting to eight, we're alternating our hands. It's a very regulating activity. After we finish this, we can kind of check in with how we're feeling. I know that like right now I'm feeling a little bit like uh, I've had a little bit exercise, which is kind of a nice feeling, kind of fun. This can be done to music. Any of these beats can be done to music. And as we go along here, we will be providing uh, playlists, videos, and a variety of songs and more fun stuff. If you have any questions, uh, comments, uh, there's a should be a web form right below for you to check out if you are on the website. Um, otherwise, you can send an email to berhythmic.com at gmail.com. So that's our website address at gmail. Uh, feel free to email questions over and we will answer as we can um, but yeah so glad you are watching this video and if you made it to the end thank you you guys are awesome I'm looking forward to doing this every week for the next eight weeks so stay tuned and give these exercises a try in class um, however it fits into your day brain breaks transitions morning time or just for fun give it a try. All that said, be rhythmic. Thanks a lot. I'm Luke. Appreciate you being here.